Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I wanna show you one of my favorite new modifications that I've made to my Lexus GX470. The front end of my car has gotten a lot of love. Now it's time for the back end to get some love. with some brand new taillights from Unique Style Racing. I'm really stoked on these guys. The company actually gave me a discount code for me to share with you guys. I'm gonna leave that on the screen. That's for Lexus Off-Road Adventures 470, L-O-R-A. 470. I'm really excited to show these things to you guys, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, let's get right into the video. When I'm looking at the back of my rig, you know, I have the tire carrier and all that cool looking stuff, and I also blacked out all these badges and everything like that, but it just still doesn't have that aggressive look that I'm going for. And I determined it's these tail lights. I don't fault anyone for liking the way they look from the factory, but they're just not ideal in my opinion. So I'm going with something a bit more aggressive as you'll see in this video. These tail lights are a Toyota Prado 120 style from Unique Style Racing, and they also complete the look of my rig with the blacked out housing design and the clear lenses. Now, there are ways to make your factory tail lights look a little more aggressive by tinting and things like that. Uh, in my opinion, that's not very safe, and these give me an option to have those clear lenses so everybody knows when I'm stopping and signaling with the added benefit of looking amazing and getting rid of the red and orange of those factory taillights. Start the install by opening up your rear tailgate, and you'll notice by the taillights there are two 10 millimeter bolts. Just take those out. It's very simple. They look like this. And keep those handy. Now, you're gonna notice on the new taillights how they slot in. They go straight in, just like that. So you're just going to pull the taillights straight out towards the rear of the vehicle like this. Sometimes it helps to rock it back and forth. And don't try to yank it out just yet. You have to remove the harness plug that's right back there. And there's only one of these, so you're only doing this once, which is very convenient. Now, I would recommend taking some time to wipe down this housing area. And there's no better time to do it than now, so might as well. Just make it nice and clean. Now you're ready to install your new USR Prado style taillights. The first step is going to be just to line up that harness plug and plug that in. Then you're gonna prepare to press the tail light in where it slots into those clips on the outside. So there's the top one, and there you see the bottom one. Make sure these are lined up before you go pressing the tail light in, and it slots in just like that. Once you're sure that the tail light is properly seated, go ahead and grab your bolts that go into the interior side and start putting those in and secure them with a wrench. Now, I don't have a proper torque spec. I would recommend against going too insanely tight on them, but just use your best judgment there. And here's a little test between the factory taillights and the one from Unique Style Racing. As you can see, they have a much cleaner look all of the functions are very bright. Importantly, they look really good and they're easily discernible to everybody on the road. The passenger side's a bit more tricky because you have to deal with the tailgate where it mounts to the side of the body, but it's the same exact process. Take out those bolts, remove it from those clips straight out towards you, and you might wanna close the tailgate for when you're ready to get the harness out because it gives you a bit more room. And as you can see, it comes out just like the driver's side. Again, clean this area because you're never going to get a better chance to do so. And just like before, line everything up, hook up that harness plug like so. And when you're able to line up those two clips on the top and bottom, you're just going to press everything in towards the front of the vehicle. Here you see me checking the gap around and let me assure you these things fit just like OEM. Now you're ready to secure those two bolts. Now just close the tailgate and take a look at how these awesome taillights look on your Lexus GX470. I am so stoked with how these turned out guys. Now a little background on these taillights. They come with all needed LEDs already installed. 
If you're wondering if you have the reverse lights like in the Prado 120, the answer is that you will need to tap the reverse light circuit in order to activate that. It's also recommended that if you do opt to transfer the reverse lights to the taillight assembly, you replace the amber LED there with a white LED. There are two different options for this taillight. These ones that you see are the more premium ones where both lower slots have amber turn signal LEDs. The lower option will not feature an LED in that bottom slot, so that will just be blank, but you'll still have all your braking and turn signal functionality. 